Welcome back to SNG with me, AB. Today we're making smothered turkey next, so let's get it. Okay, so you saw me dice down my bell peppers, my celery, and my onions, right? So now I got a little heat under the pan. Listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just start getting our, you know, our bacon going. Okay, so look, now I'm getting ready to flip these over, right? So for me to explain the bacon, listen, if you guys are using or are saving your bacon uh, grease, you don't have to do this step, but listen, I'm the chef, I enjoy eating bacon. So once I got my grease in my uh, pan right here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this and eat it. If you can look at these, if you know anything about turkey necks or anything that's uh, smoked, you can see that these are already pre-smoked, right? I'm gonna go ahead and start putting a little seasoning on here, then I'm gonna flip them over, and then we're gonna do the other side, right? Now, these were already pre-smoked. I would love to have had, you know, some raw turkey necks, but it depends on where you live, how you get them. Hey, so listen, I'm finna give up a pro tip, right? If you can't find raw, you know, uh, turkey necks, listen, so like I said, I'm using smoked turkey, right? You know, after smoked, it needs to be cooked down to get super tender, right? I put some water in here, just a little bit of salt, and I started boiling my turkey necks, right? Look at that, and then when you have this, you won't need the broth, you got it? This is all your flavor, the smokiness, the turkey meat, and just a little bit of uh, salt to wake it up. Pro tip. So now we're gonna go ahead and just do a little light cook and a little browning. Listen to this, if you guys are using raw, you know, chicken neck, this part, this this uh, section right here is real, real important. You know what I mean? Because this is how you put the color on there and you get a chance to give it a head start on cooking. But because of these are already pre-smoked and I went ahead and boiled them also, we just do them just like this. Okay, I want you guys to take a look. These are brown nicely, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out, right? And then just imagine the flavor. They're already smoked. You can see the meat is just, some of it is coming off. You know what I mean? But we wanna take these out, set these to the side, right? We already got that bacon flavor in here too. You know, for you guys that don't eat bacon or no pork or nothing like that, you don't have to do, you know, you can skip that step, but this just like enhances it. I know it's turkey, so you guys can just use any other, you know, oil that you would like, you know, to get it started, right? So all of this right here means something to me. Okay, so once we have them out, you want to start with your onions, right? We want that acid to help get up some of that fine that's on the bottom of the, you know, the bottom of the pan, right? Remember, fine, that's our flavor. You guys can see it's starting to come up, you know what I mean, some of this fine. You know what I mean? But I don't want to cook these. I don't want to grill my onions all the way down, right? So look, we gave them a head start. We let them go for about, almost about two minutes. And now I'm finna come with my bell peppers and my celery. Now, I'm getting ready to add Creole kick. This is, just, you know, Creole seasoning. This is the seasoning of my choice uh, and about the choices of a lot of other people also. I'll add my dry seasonings here, just to kick it up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and give this a little mix, let this cook down a little bit further. You guys can see on the bottom here, look at all of that. That fine just comes up. As you cook them veggies, them acids and everything else, and that moisture, kind of like steams it, gets it nice and soft, and adds that to it. This is why we build layers of flavor, so that we can have that over the top, that leveled up meal. Okay, so look, you can see the fine is just about gone, right? That's because we cooking down these veggies and the ashes and everything is doing just right, right? Now you want to add your beer. You can see on the screen, I put on there a substitution, you know, for those who do not want to cook with the beer. But trust me when I tell you, when I say trust the process, listen, we just want to bring this up. We want to cook this down and let it reduce, you know, at least halfway. And then you will not taste the beer, folks. You see this right here? Listen, it's reducing. And when it reduces about halfway, you should be able to put your nose over the top of it and smell the aromatic come up. It should not smell like beer. So when you say smothered turkey next, this is all of the flavor. This right here is your chicken broth. Over here, we got the smoked turkey broth. You tell me, mm, mm, guess what? Right, we'll wait till that come up. We're gonna go ahead and add our W sauce. And then once I get up to a boil, I'm gonna add these, my bay leaves. Okay, so you can see we come up to a boil, right? So now we'll go ahead 
and add in those bay leaves. I'll just put them in like this. Let me just reduce this down because I want to keep it, you know, at a somewhat of a simmer. And guess what, folks? Now we are reintroduce our turkey necks. Can you guys, you guys follow me? Can you see it? If you can see it, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you see? You know what I mean? Let's, let's just talk down home, southern eating. We're going to put a lid over the top, just like this. I'm going to take it off the fire. We've already preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We're going to set a timer for one hour, and I'll see you in just a minute. Now that we're getting ready to start our roux, I'm going to go ahead and add my butter, right? We want to let this melt. My butter's completely melted. You can see it's still got the yellow tint on it. You know, I took my time just to get it nice and slow. Now listen, we finna come with our flour. We got our heat at medium. I'm gonna kinda like rush this, you know what I mean? Uh, but the key is we are not gonna let it stay on the bottom long enough to even burn, right? So this is how we are gonna start making faster rules. I've done it a few times, I'm comfortable with it. Now I'll just show you guys. It's up to you. You wanna cook your roux down to the desired color that you like, right? For me, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little color on this. I want this to be a little dark. So if you ever made a roux or seen any of my gumbo videos, you know the key is in this right here. Gotta keep it moving. Okay, so look, I like a roux. I love this color right here. You know what I mean? This right here is nice. I turned off my fire. After I let it sit, this is cast iron, folks. So listen, it's gonna hold this heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this just a little while longer and that'll get me really where I wanna be. You know what I mean? Uh, it's up to you. Remember, I said, it's up to you how, what color you want your roux to be, but I like a little bit of a darker roux. Okay, so look, it's been an hour. Look at that right there. Look, this is just the weight of the square edge spoon, right? Look at this right here. You see that right there? Ah, ah yeah. This ain't got you going something wrong, folks. Okay, so this right here is what we call fire, folks. You can just see I can't even really like squeeze it. Look at the indentation there. And I, I gotta put some pressure on it to pick it up, right? So I'm just gonna set this in here like this. Let me get all of these out. Cause you know all of that. And that roux we just made, we finna make a gravy, folks. Okay, so when I remove, you know, my roux off of the, fly, uh, the fire, right? I still continue to stir it. Don't forget, I use the cast iron skillet. Listen, it holds heat very, very well, right? So now that I removed my turkey necks, I'm gonna go ahead and push this down like this. And now we're gonna add this into that right there. Now you guys can see how we're gonna come up with, you know, our color. And you can see where we're gonna get the flavor from. Now, as you can see, got a little simmer going on, put a little heat. Once we add our roux to this, we're just gonna cook this to our desired thickness. And you remember we seasoned everything, so it should taste great. If you need to add some more seasoning, this is where you would hit it with your, you know, your salt and pepper. But I've tasted it already, and I'm gonna tell you it don't need much. Okay, so obviously I got my rice. When you say turkey neck, come on, folks, what else you gonna serve it with? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take it like this. We're just gonna add it right here on the top, right? Kind of like just get it to sink in. And then I think I'm gonna take this piece right here. And I'm probably going to add it in just like that. First of all, let me show you the consistency of the gravy. You know what I mean? When I let it come down like that, just a little bit, look at that. That's what you want. So check it out. If this don't do it for you, I don't know what it will. Look, a lot of us eat like this. So if you want smothered turkey necks, smothered turkey wings, smothered turkey, whatever it is, this is it right here. Got a lot of gravy. And then listen, if your gravy get a little too thick, go ahead and hit it with a little chicken broth. Turn your fire on, just move it, you know, back and forth, get it all mixed up. Now, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna go in here and get me a piece. You guys can look right here. I'll just take a piece over here like this. You can just see how moist it is. It just comes off. It's already smoked, so you can see that color. But you know what I'm about to do, folks. I'm finna go over here and get a little bit of this gravy. And I gotta get a little bit of that green onion too. Cheers, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. You know what I mean? And then we'll just do our debate. 
Anything that you think that you can do th to this right here and level it up, just let me know, folks. We're going to read about it. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I get out. Peace. Mm-hmm.